Hello everyone and welcome to another video at my YouTube channel and blog. Uh, today I want to show you a Christmas card that uh, I've been working on and and I've got it to the finishing stages at the moment but I wanted to backtrack a little bit and show you a couple of things. Um, the uh, pine branches here um, came from the new Close to My Heart Cricut Flower Market cartridge. Um, they're on page of 49. Um, there's the pine branch and um, this great uh, pine cone um, and you can see it here with both of its layers. I was originally going to do a, uh, something with the two pine branches and the pine cone uh, together but then I realized I made my pine cones a little bit big and they are a little disproportionate to the size I made my my branches. Um, so I decided to use them um, in conjunction with this uh, ornament that I made and the design on this ornament um, is a pine uh, branch stamp and I've been reaching for it a lot in making my Christmas cards so far. Um, it's called Perfectly Pine uh, and it's the pine branch and you get an elongated pine cone and a, a little short squatty pine cone um, but I've been using this a lot as accents on uh, cards. Let me give you a couple of examples like on this card I made right here, I made it coming out from it underneath. Um, and again, I, I used um, the same ornament shape. Um, this is another great stamp set. Let me grab that one real quick. This one is World Joy. And it uh, coordinates in the Artiste cartridge uh, to cut out the, the shape of the ornament and the, the joy to the world. Um, stamps perfectly inside as you can see here and I said I just embossed the the pine branch um, underneath it and that looked great and let's see well, I don't have my other one handy that that I made with it but um, when I was when I was stamping um, this to know where I, I wanted it I didn't want to stamp on of course my my one I was putting on the card so I had the the extra one and so in doing the stamping for this I had um, it all over this one so I decided to go ahead and heat emboss it and and it looked really cool so I thought well I'll grab the the pine uh, branches that I had made for my pine cones that were too big and um, I'll just put it on this paper that I had and make it like it's in the tree and put this cute little red bow on there and then I decided I'd coat it in glossy accents which really made it look like an ornament on there. I don't know if you can see or tell but you can see it kind of glisten but it's really cool it's really thick I put a really thick coat so it's, on, it's like an ornament and then I put a little bit of glossy accents on the berries that was in this uh, pattern paper here and then uh, on, in the Artiste cartridge, that ornament uh, can be found on, on page 79. And if you're looking for it in design space, it's in coordination with this little box right here. It's a, it, it's a set, so um, you won't spot it by itself. It'll be with this um, box. And yeah, I think you can search 3D object and uh, find it that way. So uh, two great things out of the flower market and Artiste cartridge. And then, like I said, I'm obsessed with pine branches this year. And then I thought, um, I wanted a Merry Christmas on the front of here, some sort of sentiment. And I had um, already put the glossy accents on my berries, so I couldn't really do it directly on there. So I cut this piece of vellum um, using my flag dies. And I'm going to emboss with red. Uh, this sentiment onto the vellum. Uh, this sentiment come out of this uh, very merry uh, stamp set, all the holiday collection, the 2016 holiday collection. And so let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, do this now, and we'll finish up um, this card. So we'll use our powder, so we don't have any static in the wrong places and we grab a block. These flag dies um, are um, a Simon Says Stamp flag die. 
All right, it's a new stamp, and so I'm gonna just rub it on my arm, get that manufacturing goo off of there. And, and you might uh, notice that this is uh, shorter. If you're familiar with the Simon Says Stamp uh, flag dies, or uh, banner dies, um, that this is shorter. So if you run it through and cut it at its full length, and then you decide how long you want it, and then you um, line up the grooves, then you can just, uh, it'll cut off then again here, and you got the, the stitching on, on, the, on the short edge instead of just cutting it off and having no stitching. So you just uh, let it fall into the to the grooves that are already there when you get it as, as long as you want it, run it back through. Then you got a shorter one with all the stitching all the way around. All right, so let me just position this on here. Okay. I'm just going to take some red embossing powder, sprinkle it over. Tap off the excess. And so all right, let me heat that heat set this. Okay, got that heat set now. That's all pretty and shiny. Set this aside. Put the lid on my powder. Set that aside. Okay, now to glue this down, um, we're going to use some uh, Ranger Multimedia Matte. And now we're just going to turn this around and Place some little dots of adhesive behind some of the design. Just a little here and there should do it. I'm just going to put it in that corner and we'll pop a block on there to hold it down while it dries. I think that's going to pop up, so I'm going to take a little Enamel Accents by Ranger. And let's see, let's, we're going to get our multimedia mat back out. And we're going to put dotted adhesive there. Dotted adhesive there. Basically in just the four corners. You know, I usually want to do odd, but then I'm going to just add do corners so I don't have to do that.
All right, so I'll come back and take pictures after those dry and show you what it um, looks like. So thanks for watching.